Okay, we're on the Ford Fiesta Mark 7, I think. 2013 year in the UK. So I've decided I'm gonna do the seal um, on the drive shaft. So if I've done, done the ball joint and the track rod just to so, so that this will move out. And I've worked out that there's a couple of bolts here to be undone, 13 mil. It's a bit dark, but eventually this should just slip out by bending this upwards. And then I'm gonna have a go at removing that seal. Okay, that's where we are so far. So I've just pulled it out. So it's running out of oil. See, look, I just put it going into that. There's it from the underneath. So once it dries off a bit, I'm gonna try and get that seal out that I think has been leaking. And there's the shaft. It's quite easy. Obviously, it just I just literally pulled it back. I did have to disconnect this bracket, which reveals that bearing. Yeah, which looks okay. It's turning fine. See, I had to disconnect the bottom board joint and trap rod and I just pulled it all out a bit and I'm hoping I can actually fit this seal without um, taking the drive shaft out of this hub and the seal is here see it goes in that way yeah so push and I'm just gonna get something flat above it and um, tap it in very gently and Obviously, I've got the hard bit yet to remove the old one, which I'm going to try and do now. Here it is. I, I used the claw tool to remove it. I'm just a bit worried if I've scratched it anywhere. I saw there was one line here, but I don't know if I did that. Can you see that? Let me try and zoom in. Or all oh, that. It does look a bit factory, so it could get lucky, I don't know, I'm not sure. But just in case, I'll put some seal there, but that is a big boo-boo. But, yeah, it was a pain to get out, I don't know what to say. I tried just tapping it out with a screwdriver on its metal edge that it's got. Didn't work. Eventually I pulled out the inners, which I think is that. Which then made this come out a lot easier and oh let's match them up the size shall we sorry about my crap video mate. but yeah they're the same so let's just put i'm gonna put some and i would normally wouldn't use a seal but because of that scratch i'm gonna find some kind of seal around the edge and then try and get it back in well it's done it's not a very good video but <sighs> Ooh, uh, can't see nothing but there it is is it gonna leak wouldn't surprise me i just got a flat piece of wood against it and then a very long extension lead and banged it the end of the extension lead around here so and it just slowly went it was a nightmare and removing it was a nightmare i don't I have no idea if it's gonna cure a leak but it's done very annoying. Pull this cover here back. We're at the front of the car. This cover just unclips these little weird side clips. And that is where I'm going to fill it up with gearbox oil. Still carrying on with this gearbox shaft seal. This is just the last final bit. So I zoomed off, got some gearbox oil tenner. So I've removed the bung, which I just used this Allen key. And I squirted probably more than half the oil in just by holding and squeezing the bottle, but the rest I couldn't get in. So I just used a syringe in a cup. So basically that, yeah, in a cup, yeah and then just squirt it until I'm just happy. But the correct way I think is you put it down level and wait till it starts coming out. But I know there's enough in there.
So that's it really, I'm done. And then obviously I'm gonna put the that back in. Oh yeah, there is this cover. See? It's just clips on there. So quite easy, thanks.